nutrition in the body without having to get a lot of energy and, and that stuff in the body, carbohydrates, other things like that. Um, so you want to reduce the calories. And it's not really possible to do that with all the fiber in there because your, your, your hunger mechanisms will shut it off. Your stomach's so full. Um, your body is so overloaded with that stuff. And the body has to actually spend energy to break down the stuff when the fiber's there. Whereas if you just take the stuff out of it and put it in there, your body really has little to no energy expenditure on absorbing or digesting the food there. So that's really the goal, to get nutrients in there without that much calories. Um, on, on the bottom note there, I say most people would probably be wise to, and I'll, I'll talk about this more, but to work towards doing a very, um, like a green type of a juice, and we'll do a few of those tonight. Um, why is that? They, they don't have as much calories, they don't have as much quote unquote sugar, which I'll talk a little bit about more here too. Um, if, if you look at that celery, you look at that lettuce, or you look at that parsley, um, there's not a lot of calories. I think we all kind of know that, right? You have to eat a lot of that to fill you up. The problem is we stop short of it eating enough to fill us up and we eat something else. So um, there are not a lot of calories in there, but you get a ton of the good stuff in there. So for most people, um, so you're not worrying about getting too many calories, you're not worried about your blood sugar, you're not worried about those things. You want to work towards getting these high water content green stuff in there. That's probably going to be this, the best place to start out. 